Now in studio today, we are joined by a very special guest, and you'll understand why in a minute. Now they say the sky is the limit, and one can achieve anything they set their mind to. And today, our entrepreneur is a living testimony that this notion is very true. Now we are joined in studio by a very special guest to share his story of humble beginnings from coming from the rural areas of Watsomba and his remarkable journey um, uh, from, um, from being almost homeless to a legacy building entrepreneur driven by a passion to see other entrepreneurs succeed. Today we are joined by chartered accountant slash author Mr. Jerry Nyazungu. Good morning and welcome to Good Morning Zimbabwe. Thank you Zaza. Thank you for having me. I hope I said that correctly. All right. Mr. Nyazungu, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you have an amazing book, The Chartered Vendor. Yeah. It must, uh, this book, everyone must just get, and you'll understand when we're having this discussion why. Please tell us about your journey to intro entrepreneurship. How did it start? Uh, thank you so much, Zaza. I usually prefer to just call me Chartered Vendor. All right. And at my workplace, I'm called Chief Servant of MNJ. Uh -huh. Not CEO. All right. Yeah. So I started off as a vendor, just to summarize. I started off as a vendor in Glenview, selling sweets and bananas mm. and cigarettes. Uh, I also started selling airtime. Mm. Then for about six years, just coming into Arare, I didn't have anywhere to stay. I was staying with my cousins. Mm -hmm. Then I got fired from where I was staying. I also got fired from the work I, where I was working. Oh, dear. So that's how I became a vendor. It wasn't deliberate, mm -hmm. but that's when I started being a vendor. And I ended up actually employing four people at the age of uh, 19. Wow. Yeah. So that's what happened for me to be a vendor. After being a vendor, I started working for other companies mm -hmm. as a bookkeeper, then as an accountant. Then in 2014, that's when I started a company called m mm &hmm. That's where I'm currently working, providing business consultants to over 4,500 4, uh, clients and wow. I employ about 54 people in Zimbabwe and Zambia. Good Lord, what an incredible history from Venda to <laughs> managing 54 uh, client, yeah, yeah, okay, that's that's just incredible. Now, what is the greatest, greatest lesson uh, uh, that you have learned through this experience? Yeah, I've exp I've learned that Zimbabwe is a land of opportunities. Mm -hmm. Yes, people they can say the environment is tough, but I believe environment which has got a lot of problems, it also has got a lot of opportunities. Mm -hmm. So I learned that if you persevere, if you wake up just doing that same thing, doing whatever it takes, mm -hmm. you end up just getting successful. So every day. We are pushing the goals, pushing the targets, making sure that things will happen. Absolutely. It does speak to the resilience of how Zimbabweans are. Yeah. We, whatever situation is thrown at us, we don't just throw in the towel. We will find a plan and make a plan. We need to survive. Exactly. Right now, what inspires you to venture into business maybe? Let's just delve into the nitty gritties. Because at first it was a situation thing, but now yeah. you are in it because you love it. I it's love now a passion it. of yeah. yours. What keeps you grounded and in the business adventures that you're in. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm, I am I noticed that I'm not a politician. Right. I am a business person. So what can I do to also transform the economy of Zimbabwe? Mm -hmm. So I can do that. m and all the 50, uh, 54 people I'm employing, they're mm -hmm. all consultants in mm -hmm. various ways. Right. Some are HR consultants, some are sales trainers, some are accountants, some are tax consultants. So I said... People are, in Zimbabwe, we are starting businesses. I think almost everyone has got something they are doing, whether they are selling sweets, mm. they are doing entrepreneurship in a way. But I've noticed that most of the business, they are not thriving. Right. We are not building timeless businesses. Mm. So our goal now, my goal is to say, how can I also help other business people, mm. other entrepreneurs in making it? And I can also now help myself in actually also making money. Exactly. Now, obviously, there's this beautiful book that you've written, The Chartered Vendor. Um, you know, <laughs> tell us about what is in this book. Because I know everyone is now wondering, yeah, okay, <laughs> we've heard the story. Uh, but what is it in this book that is a key takeaway for that person at home to say, I need to get a copy of the book? Here? Yeah, that is must, uh, a must get book mm -hmm. for someone who is in business or for someone who is aspiring to be in business. Or mm. someone has actually uh, given uh, he, he, he or his hope. Because this book, it's my story. And I'm telling you like what it is to say, no, 
We survived in 2008 when inflation was at 231 million mm -hmm. percent. And if you still remember, we had a hundred trillion dollar note. Yes. So when we survived, it's unlike those books which are being written by the Americans, by the British. You cannot relate this book. You can bring it home. Mm -hmm. I was surviving sometimes with, uh, you know, when you chew your sugar cane, when it comes dry. Yes. When you throw it away. I survived on that. I was eating that sugar cane, which was chewed by other people. Okay. So many people are living this life. Some are even feeling that they've given hope. Some are feeling that you can never make it in Zimbabwe. Some are even running away from the country. I've never ran away from, country, from this country. Mm. I'm actually starting to get out of Zimbabwe to look for other business opportunity and employing other nationalities in mm. other countries. But I never ran away of, out of Zimbabwe. So what I want you just want to tell a young person who is in school today, a someone who is already in business, this is a must read book because it is going to help you with all these uh, business lessons, the fundamentals for you to start a business, the fundamentals for you to start a timeless business. If you want to build a team, if you want to build a sales team, mm. if you want to know how to market, use social media, you can be, detect this book. It is going to help you. Fantastic. Where can we uh, get a hold of the copy? Like if I want to get a copy of the book and where can we find you on social media? So just to follow you and maybe interact with you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, this book is more personal. So what I'm preferring is people, they can buy it directly from me. Mm. Uh, in, in Arare, they can come to me at... Uh, 69 Samura Masho, uh, Buddy House, or they can just contact me on my number is 0719-382-136, or on my social media platforms, YouTube is Jerry Moya Zungu, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, because I use social media, yes. and social media has got a lot of money. That's why I'm on social media. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. See, uh, being an entrepreneur, always a business par excellence. All right, uh, we've just been speaking to the one and only chartered vendor, uh, and that is Mr. Jerry Nyazungu, and this is his book, and uh, it's called the chartered vendor you ne definitely need to get a copy of this book i mean i actually tried uh you know grabbing a, <laughs> a friend's copy not knowing so, sorry chico i am a mighty woman i know i, I almost uh, you know kidnapped your book not knowing that the lord was going to send jerry right here to me <laughs> uh, right here on good mornings and bring me my own personal copy so very excited there thank you so much for coming welcome. and joining us uh, this morning welcome thank you